Hi, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to wire a UK 3-pin plug. To do this, you're going to need the following equipment. You'll need your new plug. You'll need a small flat-headed or terminal screwdriver. You'll need a slightly bigger crosshead or Phillips screwdriver like this one. And you'll need the cable coming from the appliance that you want to wire up. Now this is UK 3 core cable. Now it's called 3 core cable because it contains 3 wires in the centre surrounded by a protective outer plastic layer. This outer plastic protects the 3 inner wires from damage. The 3 wires we've got in the core are the brown live wire, the blue neutral wire and the green and yellow earth wire. Now this is a safety wire. It's not found on all appliances, especially if you've got a plastic case. So sometimes you'll only have the blue and the brown. Now this would be what we'd call a twin core cable. Now these cables have already been cut back and stripped to expose the inner copper. You need about 5mm of exposed copper. But you might need to do this yourself, especially if you're replacing a moulded plug like this one. Now as you can see, there's no way to get into this plug it's actually moulded on. A lot of appliances come with these these days, in which case you're just going to have to cut the cable off. You'd then need a pair of wire strippers to remove the outer insulation, cut the inner wires to length, like they are here, and then remove the insulation from each of the inner wires. As I said earlier, you need about 5mm of exposed copper at the end of each wire. The plug itself has three brass pins, the live pin, the neutral pin and the slightly longer earth pin at the top. The case itself is made from insulating material such as plastic or rubber. To open up the plug we need to remove the back by unscrewing this screw here using our Phillips or crosshead screwdriver. Try not to remove this screw, because you don't want to lose it. It's not quite open, let's try a little bit more. There we go. Now you can see the inside of the plug. Looking inside the plug, you see three screw heads like this one. These are the terminals where the wires are going to be wired in. Now this is the live, first one's the live terminal. It's attached to the fuse, and if we pull the fuse out, you can see it's attached to the live pin. So we'll push that back into place. The second terminal is down at the bottom left. This is the neutral terminal. This one, again, if we push the pin through, you can see that's attached to the neutral pin. And then up at the top, we've got the earth terminal, which is attached to the earth pin. If we take that earth pin out completely, and I'll try and focus in on it. There we go. You can see the tiny screw that goes into the top of the pin actually closes this hole here. Now if I loosen that off using the terminal screwdriver, you should be able to see that the hole Will begin to open up. Let's just put it in front of the white, that's better. Okay, now this is where our wires are going to go into, and then we're going to clamp down onto them by tightening up this screw and closing the hole again. By screwing down onto the bare copper at the end of the earth wire will be making an electrical connection between the earth pin and the earth wire and also by screwing down it holds the earth wire in place now i'm just going to open this up again so that when i put it back into the housing it's ready to take the earth wire at the bottom of the plug we've got the cable grip now this is an important safety feature it stops your cable being pulled out if anybody trips over the cable while you're hoovering, for example. Now, we're going to have to loosen that off if we're going to get our cable in in the first place. So we 
loosen these two screws at the bottom of the front face to do this. To do this you'll need your terminal screwdriver. Again, don't fully unscrew these because you don't want them coming fully out. Once you've loosened it, you can flip it over and then you can see we can lift the cable grip up and we've not, now got a much bigger gap where we can push our cables in, just like that. To make it easy to push the cables under the cable grip, squeeze the three wires together like so. And then you can push them under the cable grip and into the plug. We can now connect the wires to the terminals. It doesn't matter which one you do first, but I'm going to start with the earth. The green and yellow earth wire goes to the top pin. Now I've pushed it up just to make it a bit easier to access. I'm just going to loosen it off a little bit more so that hole is fully open. And I'm going to take the green and yellow cable and I'm going to push the exposed copper end into the hole that we've opened up, making sure that it's the copper that's underneath the screw and not the insulation. And then we're going to screw down onto the copper to make an electrical connection. Once it's tight, you can then push the pin back into place. Next, I'm going to connect up the neutral wire. This is the blue one. Okay, so I'm going to bend it round so that It'll push into the terminal when I've loosened it off. So once again, I'm going to loosen off the screw on the top of the pin using our terminal screwdriver. If you push the pin up a little bit, it makes it easier to push the end of the wire into the hole. There we go. And once again, make sure it's copper that's underneath the screw and then you can screw down onto the wire until it's nice and tight. We can then attach the third and final wire, which is the brown live wire to the live terminal. This is the one that's attached to the fuse. So again, push it up, make access a little bit easier. Then once again, push the bare wire into the hole underneath the screw and then we can tighten the screw down onto it. Push it back into place and we're almost done. Give each of the cables a quick tug just to make sure they're all secure. And then make sure that none of the cables are covering any of the plastic mouldings up. So you can see this one here, the earth wire, I'm just going to push that down there. Otherwise, if they go over the top of the plastic mouldings, again, the, the live wire, just push it back there. If they go over the top of the plastic mouldings like this, you won't be able to get the back on properly. Next job is to tighten the cable grip to hold the cable in place. So we flip it over and tighten the two screws underneath the two bottom pins so that should now be nice and tight but just to be sure give it a good tug yeah that's not moving at all So we're now ready to put the back on. So set it into place and just make sure that it doesn't rock. And if we turn it round, you'll see we've still got the screw in place. And that screw just underneath the earth pin, we tighten that up using our Phillips screwdriver. And we're done. So I hope you found this useful. If you have, leave a thumbs up. Any questions, leave a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe, just hit the button below. See you soon.